But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Luke 10 29. This is a fundamental question asked by the lawyer. My neighbor must not be that person living close to my house, the same compound or from the same village. Jesus uses the parable of the Good Samaritan to teach us who our ideal neighbor should be. Thus, we can take note of the following. 1. Our neighbor is that person that is in serious need of help. 2. The most neglected and less privileged are our neighbors. Most often we help those we know and neglect those we don't know. The blessing comes from when we help those in need that we don't know. 3. The spiritual secret of helping others, is to treat them well as we have found them with Christian charity and love, and not based on our selfish thoughts and interest. 4. Our helping others becomes a sacrifice when we treat them beyond their imagination, but when we go extra miles for the sake of God, and for the good of humanity without segregation of any kind. Therefore, as Christians, if we regard only all those living close to us as our neighbor, then we have violated the divine command to love. We are to love and to help all, especially those we don't know before. Dear Lord Jesus Christ help us to love you daily in our neighbors. Amen.